What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great weekend so far. The week was a long one. I didn't quite get as much as I wanted to get done done, but you know what? I did spend a little time, as you can see from my screen, goofing around with my own system. Um, I will get a video out um, tomorrow or the next day, continuing on our void install with DWM Suckless setup. Um, I do have a few things I want to touch on that, a couple programs I want to add that people have asked me about, some customization and configuration to do, um, just to kind of get that thing kind of polished up and where it's working and ready for you to just take the reins and run with it and make it your own. But today I just wanted to kind of highlight what I've been doing on my system. Um, as you know, I got a new computer and so I goofed around for a while and I installed some different stuff and I went back and forth on Void and Artix Linux and I settled on Artix and I had a decent looking Artix system all set up and running and ready to go and I thought, you know, this is good. But something in the back of my head just kept telling me you're not in the right place, Jake. You're not in the right place. So what happened this past week? Well, that happened. I am back on void because, you know, for the life of me, I just cannot see any gosh darn reason why I'd want to switch away from it. Artix is fun. I do still have it on my system. I will probably keep it on there. I might I might keep it on there, I should say. I might turn it into a VM um, just because I like to be able to test some of the stuff that's easier to install on there um, than it is on void. But overall i just i had to go back to void um you can see there's been a few other changes um my color scheme is different uh, my wallpaper is obviously different my bar is different i just went through and i did a real fresh up on my system um, i changed my color scheme so if i uh let's see go into my bash rc and we hit enter you can see i've got a nice blue um a nice blue and purple color scheme going on um, if we quit out of there um, and I launch my uh, menu for my program launcher, you can see that has been changed to kind of match my color scheme as well. Um, my bar, I broke it up on the top. I did like my other bar. That was kind of the power, power arrow look, but um, you know, sometimes things just get old. Um, I do still have all that stuff set up. I'm going to actually just turn this into one of my themes that I can select with my theme changer. Um, but I like this broken up bar. I noticed a lot of people using Hyperland were doing this with their bar on top of their screen. And I know I've known you can do it with Polybar for a while. I've just never taken the time and effort to go ahead and do it. But today, I, or today, um, this past week, I finally took some time and I sat down and I just played around with my own system. I goofed around with the colors, I goofed around with the bar, I goofed around with the wallpaper, and I just thought, you know, I want to make this a little bit more cohesive. So I just kind of feel like the colors I've got going on here um, with all the different things um, and the bar and the way things look, the rounding corners and everything, just makes it look like a little bit more cohesive. I'm not going to say it looks professional by any means, because to use the word professional by any stretch of the word, this is far from that. I am by no means a professional when it comes to customizing your system and making it look great. There's some guys out there that do amazing work doing that, and I know that this doesn't look like something that would ship with a computer. This is just my kind of hacky put together, but... Um, I really like it. I like the way it kind of all can, is, is um, very cohesive, like I said. I, I think I've said that word a little bit too much in this video. But I like the way it's looking. I like the way it feels. Um, and I'm going to continue on with it. Um, so I am back in Void. I just couldn't get away from it. Um, so that's kind of what I've been doing, what I've got going on. Um, so I will say again, um, hopefully tomorrow, maybe the next day, I will get another video out covering some more um, customization and building of that DWM setup. Um, but as of right now, this is what I've been spending my time doing. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I do have some other stuff going on with it. Like I now have, um, if we switch layouts here, I do have some nice uh, animations in my window movements, which is kind of nice. I really like the animation um, that Jonaberg PyCom actually allows you to do on this. I want to play around with that a little more because I've seen some really freaky animations that people can do with that. So I want to goof around with that a little bit more and just have some fun with this. Um, so that being said, this is what I've been doing. This is what I've been um, <laughs> this is where I've been kind of hidden in a cave, uh, building my machine, um, getting it back up the way I like it, getting back over onto Void, because like I said before, Void is home. And yeah, um, so hopefully you guys uh, can be patient with me and I uh, hope you like my new system uh, because you're going to be looking at it for a while when you see my videos. So that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, great rest of your week, man. Stay safe, enjoy time with your family, just relax, and God bless.